Nikola Jokic dominated. 37 points, 9 rebounds, 6 assists, 3 steals, and 2 blocks. In the current NBA, there are a select group of rising stars that are absolutely impressing everyone with their style of play, and just how much they've been progressing through the years. A great example of this is Nikola Jokic. He came into the league from Europe and didn't exactly have the biggest of expectations, despite his massive size. However, as he played in the league and lost some weight, he became a powerful force, so much so that he's likely to be the MVP of the current NBA season. So given how much he's done in the NBA so far, what do those who have come before him think of him? Allow us to show you Nikola Jokic what NBA legends really think of the Joker. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 8. LeBron James Able to get your teammates involved, uh, putting the ball on time on target, being able to see things happen before they happen and seeing the reward go to your teammates, it's the best part of the game. You see that in him? Yes. We start off with naturally the biggest legend in the NBA currently playing in LeBron James. He's the leader of the current defending champs in the Los Angeles Lakers, and is already carving a path of destruction through the current NBA playoffs. Plus, he and Jokic met face-to-face -face in the Western Conference Finals in the bubble playoffs, a matchup that wasn't supposed to happen, but Jokic made it happen. So what does the King think of the Joker? A lot, apparently. Though he will also be the first to admit that Jokic has some things to work on, including how he needs to build up both his speed and his defensive ability. However, in terms of positives, LeBron loves the fact that Jokic is a team-first player, which isn't always something you get with superstars. James noted that he saw Jokic constantly trying to get his teammates involved in the fight, so that they had a better chance of winning. Jokic has commended LeBron as well over the years, and continues to look up to LeBron now, as he shows just how good he is despite being 36 years old and being in the NBA for a whopping 18 years. Number 7. Kevin Durant Jokic, so... Uh... I think we corralled a lot of their guys the second half, and, and uh, that switched the game up for us. Kevin Durant is another legend in the NBA right now, who has done well by himself and by his teams. He made the OKC Thunder relevant alongside Russell Westbrook, and then went and joined the Golden State Warriors in order to help them win back-to-back -back NBA titles. And when all was said and done there, he jumped to the Brooklyn Nets, who now have him, Kyrie Irving, and James Harden and are huge favorites in the NBA playoffs. Durant is a former MVP and Finals MVP, so his thoughts on Jokic's skill are absolutely something to listen to. When Jokic first started to break out in terms of skill and ability in the 2016 season, it was actually Kevin Durant who first noticed that this was going to be a player to watch. Even going so far as to say that he was going to be a force in the league for many years to come. And he was very much right on that part. He even heaped on praise for Joker later on as his skills continued to rise, and said that he appreciated Joker's vision on the court, and his ability to go and dominate in many different ways which no doubt the Nuggets appreciate as they look to him to guide them throughout the playoffs. Number 6. Dirk Nowitzki I want to say that the things that they did for NBA is amazing. We need, uh, we need, uh, we need the people who continue to, to, to kind of build what they did. Moving on now to a retired NBA legend and future Hall of Famer, Dirk Nowitzki is a man who has gone and proved a lot of stereotypes wrong about European players. Because when he came into the league, the Dallas Mavericks took him, and a lot of people thought this was a bad move. But over the years, the NBA teams not named the Mavericks learned the hard way that Dirk was no pushover, and could lead a team to victory. Taking the Mavericks to two NBA Finals and pulling off a major upset against the LeBron James-led Miami Heat. In fact, many consider guys like Dirk as the prime example of how great the European market can be at producing players. You know, like Nikola Jokic. And in fact, Jokic has said that Nowitzki is one of his idols. And it's not hard to see why. The two have been compared quite often, including how they tend to shoot the ball. But when Dirk was asked about Joker, he not only praised the player for his skill and ability, but noted that his passing ability was far above what Dirk ever did. Which is true when you look at the stats. Dirk even said that he was always the guy who wanted to shoot the ball, but Jokic is someone willing to pass in order to ensure the points instead of hogging the glory. Joker has a long way before being like Dirk in terms of accolades, but he is well on his way, that's for sure. <laughs> he was feeling it, yeah. <laughs> Number 5. Chauncey Billups Chauncey Billups is without a doubt one of the most respected and yet underrated players in NBA history. He was an NBA champion with the Detroit Pistons, and was a key role player on many other teams, but he never got to be appreciated as much as other players, even though he was a finals MVP. 
still, his legend is secured. And now, he's a great broadcast commentator for ESPN, so it all worked out. Anyway, when it came to talking about Nikola Jokic, Phillips was very quick to point out that his true skill and ability was that of his passing, even comparing him to a former big man of the Portland Trailblazers, who also had an art when it came to his passing ability. And that's why a lot of people are amazed at what Jokic can do. Because he's a big man, and yet he's doing passes as smoothly or dynamically as legends like Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. That's not supposed to happen with someone of his body type. And yet, he does it, and he does it easily. So it's no wonder that Chauncey and others are pleased with what he's doing. Developed into being one of the, one of the best big men in, in our game. Um, what have you specifically been doing that will continue to, to make you better? Number four, Doc Rivers. Doc Rivers is currently the coach of the Philadelphia 76ers, the number one seed in the European Conference. And he's formerly the coach of the Los Angeles Clippers and the Boston Celtics the latter of whom he led to two NBA Finals and one NBA Finals victory. He's coached people like Kevin Garnett, Blake Griffin, and Joel Embiid. So he knows how to work with big men and evaluate their talent. So where does Jokic fall into all of that? Well, he said he's the best passing big I've ever seen, perhaps ever. And that's pretty cool considering all the guys he's both coached and coached against in the NBA. Speaking of which, he went further in his praise of Jokic by saying that his footwork was not unlike Hall of Famer Hakeem Olajuwon a former MVP and two-time NBA champ. And again, this is a future Hall of Famer saying these praises about Joker. That's not to go unnoticed. He's good. <laughs> I, I don't know if there's a comparison. He has a little bit of everybody. You know, he has all the, the footwork and the moves of Elijah Wong. Number three, Paul Millsap. Stepping back into the current NBA crop, we head to Denver for one of Jokic's teammates in Paul Millsap someone who has been helping the Denver Nuggets get over the hump in recent years. Anyway, when describing his teammate, he had some curious things to say about him. For example, one time he went and compared him not to an NBA player or legend, but to an NFL legend, Tom Brady. How does that work out? Simple, the two are quarterbacks in terms of how they handle the field, both literally and figuratively. And that tracks with how Jokic's vision allows him to go and do passes as great as he can. But another time, he compared Joker's abilities two hamburgers, saying he's dishing out hamburgers left and right. Grab as many as you can. Okay. He's, he's going to be the right play. He's going to make the right reads. Um, it's like a quarterback out there. I consider him like a, a Tom Brady. Number two, DeAndre Ayton. Heading now to another team in the current NBA playoffs, we look at DeAndre Ayton of the Phoenix Suns. You might think that these two don't have that much in common, given that one was the overall number one pick, Ayton, and the other was a second round pick, Jokic. But in truth, they have similar styles and have developed a playful rivalry on the court. Aiton not only has said many times that he appreciates Jokic and all that he does on the court, but that he tries to learn from him and take things from his game and apply it to his own. When you have younger players trying to emulate you, you know you're doing something right. Number one, Richard Jefferson. He's the best big man in the NBA, right? Mm. That he is. He is. He is the best big man. Like the, Everything around their team has been built around him. Finally, we end with another well-respected veteran of the game in Richard Jefferson. Jefferson, as an analyst, has gone on to praise Nikola Jokic for being a leader among men, even saying that it's because of his leadership and abilities that they have been able to be a dominant force in the NBA. He even went on to say that he's one of the top five best passers in the NBA right now, and the league's best big man by far. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at Nikola Jokic and what the various NBA legends of history have to say about him? Do you agree with what they had to say about Joker? Do you think some of them weren't giving enough praise for him? Or that they may have given him too much praise? What do you think the honest-to-goodness expectations for Jokic are in the current NBA playoffs? Let us know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.